Hey guys, Lake Travis Mobile Glass here, working on an Infinity QX80 as you see, and we're doing windshield uh, repair. A little star break on the uh, passenger side, if you can see, um, right along the bottom. So there we go from the inside. We'll get our mirror set up here and take a look at it from the outside. Uh, once I have that mirror in place, what I'm gonna do next is drill. We're gonna drill. Here it is, obviously. We're gonna drill right in the center, that kind of white spot, right where the rock hit and there's crushed glass. We'll take advantage of that damage and drill right in the center. Uh, then we'll be able to inject resin, which will flow into the damage area. All the cracks will fill up with the resin, which will definitely diminish the appearance, but more, most importantly, it's going to keep it from spreading further. So I'll get started on that. I'll show you each step along the way. Uh, thank you for watching. All right, as you can see, we now have the uh, bridge assembly set up right over the top of that uh, crack, right where I drilled. So I put resin into this, what we call the injector, and I have a plunger, and as I screw that down, it puts pressure on the liquid and forces it into the damaged area, into the crack. So uh, we'll give that a good five to 10 minutes and allow it to flow through, and we'll be back and show you the next step. All right, we've given it quite a bit of time. It's been at least 10 minutes. So uh, you can see that the, uh, the damaged area is starting to disappear. It's still a little bit of the line showing. Uh, it's pretty difficult to make them completely disappear, sort of like snowflakes. So uh, very good so far. We'll give it some more time and see if we can get it filling a little bit better before we have, uh, apply UV light. And that's gonna cause that liquid to harden. So that'll be the next step. So I'll show you that here once we're done. All right, so you can see we have the ultraviolet light on it now. So we're just gonna give that some time, three or four minutes and allow that resin to cure. And then we'll be able to remove the light and the bridge and clean up the surface of the glass. All right, what you see now is uh, the light on it again. We have that plastic square on the surface of the windshield. So what we're doing is uh, we're fixing the surface. We, we, we fixed the damage area, the, the crack in the glass, but the spot where we drilled, where the rock first hit, was still uh, damaged. So we use a thicker, heavier uh, resin called pit filler, and we put that on the surface and then that plastic square over the top so it doesn't drip while we uh, have the light on it and causing that resin to cure. So this process, again, will take a few minutes, and then we'll be able to remove that plastic piece, the light, clean up the area, get all the excess resin off the surface of the glass, make it nice and smooth and even. Uh, and then the little spot that's gonna be left over, uh, that bit of resin is not going to be as transparent as the windshield, so we'll use a pit polish, is what we call it, and clean that up and make it a little bit more transparent. And we'll be finished. We'll clean up the windshield, remove all of our tools and um, equipment and I'll show you the finished product which it will still be damaged uh, the damage doesn't go anywhere so the glass will still be cracked but we'll be able to show you the end result it looks a lot better than the original so um, stand by for that all right and you can see the finished result right there greatly diminished from before the repair guaranteed not to spread but it is still visible as they always are. Check it out from the inside. You can still make out the, the legs, a couple of edges. I'm 100% gone, but good 90% diminished. So, if you guys have any questions about windshield repair or replacement, just give us a call. 512 240 9121. Thanks for watching.